Welcome back. Fendi and I got some pizza in us, yes. and uh, the players are back on stage. We're ready for top six of doubles. Yeah, so our first match is going to be Pew Fat and Blade Wise and Fizz. Yeah, the boys. Yep. The uh, Colorado Washington hybrid team taking on NorCal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taking on the best team in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what it comes down to. Of course, and we have a word from our beautiful streamer, Nikki. Hey guys, I just want to shout out Slippy, which is the amazing application that lets us stream at 720p, 1080p, Melee. It's amazing. Shout out to Jazz, aka Fizzy, who has been the creator and head of development, uh, and Meta Construct, who's here helping us manage the Slippy setups, and Uncle Punch, who's just Uncle Punch. He's amazing. He's, he's, yeah, he's just yeah. A, okay. a demigod. Okay, on to the set. Okay. Yeah, so I was at a tournament last week and um, Gang Steals a Script out in Philadelphia. Mm. I was there too. And so... <laughs> okay, Nikki, it's not about you. <laughs> Pipe down, bud. Um, and so every single setup had a slippy like recording device on it. So every single set was recorded. Hack the planet. Truly, it was actually so sick. You know, this is so sick to see two teams as we go into winners, excuse me, losers, quarters. And I didn't know it was going to peak that high. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, come on. It gets exciting around here. <laughs> so, uh, what, best three still? Right? No, what this is going to be best, best five. five now or top yeah. six best five? Okay, cool. Yep. Wasn't sure if we were doing top four or top six best of five. Because we did have best of three for uh, losers, seventh place matches. Yep. It's a pretty uh, dangerous proposition, perhaps, by SFAT to go off stage and come back on with that back air. You gotta be really careful against characters that have such good, you know, attacks out of shield, both nares out of shield. So good. SFAT is a big risk taker in dubs, in particular. Yeah. That, like, masks the up smash noise. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> Close. But not not the cleanest yeah. Q-Fat play lately, man. Not the cleanest. S-Fat going to ledge despite the Sheik holding it. It's tough in that situation, actually. You got the Peach covering high as well. PPU couldn't really influence it. Oh, the quadruple up tilt. A lot of damage. 55 already on the Peach after that. A little too low. Yeah, couldn't quite curl it far enough. Oh, that up smash, though. Maybe trying again, look for a little target switch. Oh, everybody getting in the down tilt. You get a down tilt. This could be dangerous for down tilt. Oh, Dude. got him. Bladewise actually capitalized perfectly on that. Already two stocks on S5. Yeah. Bladewise been eating a lot of jab up smashes the last couple sets I've seen him. Oh. Oh, but he's... <laughs> I love it. Like Next get level it. recovery. Yeah, get away from me. And just gets easily back to ledge. Oh, I like PPU just dancing between. Oh, oh we got ledge steal. Yeah. Hey, another mistake. Dude, CLG, not the cleanest right now. And when you're playing against, you know, a team of their caliber who are they're not playing their best, you gotta man make the best of those opportunities. You know? Our team had a slight deficit as Bladewise spends literally ten seconds floating yeah, all the way down to ledge. The entire just did not fast fall at all. It's just like the whole way. Waited for Fizz to get in there and he did clear some space. A down smash, but Let's see Fizz. Oh that was actually wow, so smart. That turn, up, that yeah. turn was so good. Wow, man. Fizz is doing an awesome job holding this stock. Oh, he's coming back the other side. <laughs> you well you, done by Blade You don't see that too often, actually. On Battlefield. I also love that super quick aerial, the down smash. Nice, easy conversion for Fizz. Okay. Huh? Yeah, tough to say actually. Sfat, he had a, a really difficult decision to make there. Beside, one was continue to press Fizz and keep him out of the, the loop, or go help. Keep you. He opted for help. Oh, the heart. Oh my God, Fizz was looking so good against uh, Sfat, but Pew Pew doing exactly the same to Blade Wise. God, that jump smash. Oh, he gave up his jump. Okay, he does. He gets down. Great positioning. The fact that he was able to turn around before he got that shield so he could get the fair on Nesta. Oh, and the slide off. That was sick. And oh. then he just oh. immediately threw it away. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that was nice though. I like the yeah the slide off at the top platform was pretty nifty. He's damn good up until that point. Fizz, you played pretty solid that whole game. It's uh, kind of a, a tough ask against Pufat to yeah. be able to close those stocks out, but nearly a last stock situation. That's about at 100%. Now we're likely going to see Dreamland. That was their counter pick last time we saw them. And it is Dreamland. Valuing that survivability. Yeah, it looks like Pufat also more than happy to do the, the specific solo one-on-ones where we saw immediately SFAT go after Fizz and then uh, PBU go after Bladewise. <laughs> Got him. Love that sound. That's my favorite noise in the game. It's so cool. Again, the tunnel vision there. Bladewise got stuck trying to get the SFAT Gimp. You know, not even the worst decision, to be honest, but Fizz didn't get a good follow-up. You know, sometimes you'll take a hit if you know your teammate is going to be able to capitalize on the fact that you got hit, right? Yeah, that was a nice three-piece to end the Bladewise stock. Oh, sneaks in right after the Marth up beat. Yeah, let's check out guard. Yeah. Keeping it pretty even. They can get out of this corner. That's by doing a really good job pressuring safely. And I'm still dealing a lot of damage. Blade Wise is so good at holding that shield all the way yeah. until it's so small. Well, that fair actually helped. He's going to still have a chance to come back. But Oh, whiff! That's oh. a big whiff. That's a big whiff. Fizz still somehow holding on to that stock. Oh, s -Fan just normally, yeah, nine times out of ten can hit that, but he did not. That's basic. Okay, red team did a decent job of uh, trading as much as they could. They couldn't really ever get out of the corner after those last two blue team stocks. So to just be able to build percentage is what all you can really ask for. Oh, that oh, refreshes that. Oh, that was nuts. So quick, timed it perfectly. And s with the miss ledge dash. Dude, very close still. Okay, that, that's tough. Bladewise went for the help, and in that situation, going for the help means that you are constricting your team to the corner, yeah. right? You have to commit all the way into the corner to go for the help instead of trying to fight in center. Yeah. And at that point, you're literally giving SFAT the entire stage. It can work out in your advantage as the red team because of, like, down smash, you know, potentially if uh, the blue team misspaces. But oh. oh, my God. SFAT just, like, he's struggling right now. Off. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not 100%. Is still tanking this stock relatively well. Oh, oh that was smart. That was oh, oh, that's going to trade. They're actually going to yeah. trade. And wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, he dipped a little. Okay, great job by QBU. Oh, but that's set up into a combo. He got s fat with the three piece, and Bladewise gets the kill. And wait just a second. Very even. Oh, but oh boy. A nice combo. Oh. Lots of percent on red team. Great finisher on both sides of the stage. Wow. Yeah, that, that wow. turned into a... That last stock was a... Basically, looked like Pewtown woke up. They were like, all right, all right, yeah. hold on. That was Wait like getting better team. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yep. It's like getting better player. Yep. That one before. It's like getting better team. Yes. They just took the smallest little openings on both sides and were able to choose. They target switch perfectly as well. Yeah. SFAT especially with the converting the smash. All right, so 2-0 lead for Pewfat here. Going to go to Battlefield. Oh, no, I was going to say, there's a lot of stuff happening off stage. Nice side B by PPU to bring SFAT back. And after all of that fracas, PPU is still untouched, and that is a big old Ken combo. Oh, nice. That was a mix up. I don't think this is quite ready for it. You can get the best DI. PPU is still chilling at a fat 0% on his first stock right now. Finally, he gets hit. But nice, good target switch. Buy some space for SFAT. He can still get a save. Uh, jab was the right idea, I think. It's either jab or uh, side B in that situation. I'm not sure which one goes farther, but. Ooh. Damn. There's a little early on that jump to get the bear. Continuing the combo on PPU. <laughs> Bladewise, no one's even hitting his shield and it was yeah. so tiny. He was just holding it. 
too bad. I like the needle attempts right there. Yeah, the down air, ill advised by PPU. Nice. High angle again, paying off two dividends for blue team. Oh, I like Bladewise going for that on reaction, trying to get out there. Just to I misspaced it one day. And after that, you know, beautiful first stock and start by PPU, it is dead even here. In fact, red team actually is just taking the lead. For the first time in the set? First time in the set they have the lead? It's been close, but I don't know if they've ever actually held the lead for any extended period of time. Yeah. I, I think you might be right. Oh, Fizz just missed the edge guard. Oh, that's a bad trade. Yeah, Fizz got in yeah, there and he didn't you know what? have to. Yeah, I was going to say, because at the same time, SFAT's able to continue the punish. I Picking your time when you, you interrupt your opponent's, uh, you know, you target switch, you get your, you save your teammate, you, you interrupt your opponent's punish. The timing is really everything. Yeah. Of that. He jumped in right when SFAT was going to have a hitbox out. It's tough. Oh, and a lot of swinging for PPU has led into a lot of percent very quickly on both. Fizz and Bladewise, and there goes Bladewise, and there goes Fizz. Yeah. This has been a pretty clean game from Blue Team. At no point were they really even, you know, out of control for the most part. Yeah, there was most a very of the stocks brief, they lost were like trades. Yeah, there was a very brief moment where Red Team had the lead, but that was about it. Immediately just closed down. Ooh. That's it. Very All right, clean. cool guy. <laughs> gotta let him know. Yeah, just be like, don't forget, we are the best team in the world. 3-0 there. They're moving on to loser semis. We'll play the winner of Kalamazoo Lucky and uh, Rick and Lance in the pants. It's nice to see him tighten it up a bit, that game three. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm actually overall most, most impressed with Fizz coming out of that. He played good. a very smart corner game. Good awareness. Yeah. There's a few mistakes that he made here and there as far as um, like uh, when to switch targets or, you mm -hmm. know, positioning stuff. Um but sometimes it's not even that they're mistakes. It just doesn't. It, you make like a decision that it's a split second. You think this is it's what right. I need to do, yeah. and sometimes it's the right idea. You just don't execute it correctly. Yeah. Or you know you mistime it slightly, or something just doesn't fall in your favor. But uh, I'm he pretty solid, pretty solid teams player. Good yeah. to see him do well with uh, with Bladewise, who I you know Washington and Colorado doubt they're any yeah. kind of consistent teammates. Yeah, and I mean they look good against Unsure and Michael as well. Yeah, they really did. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, kind of a tough matchup for him too. You know, uh, I had mentioned during that set, Peach Sheik doesn't have a super consistent way to kill the puff, so they mostly want to knock away and yep. team up on the fox. And um, they were able to do that really well. Yeah. So to be able to adapt your strategy to the team you're playing against and execute it, you know, not miss a beat. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Definitely That's nothing to. Say. Yeah. Nothing to. You know, be upset about getting, getting fifth, tied for fifth yeah. at a big tournament like this. Mm -hmm.